Hey, it's Jody here at Flopbeard Farm. I have a new process video for you. I am using the super cute Cartabella Pack Your Bags collection. My, uh, my husband and big guy took a trip to South Dakota last year and uh, I love this picture of them so I thought I would scrap it so I um, I need to learn to open everything before I start <laughs> sorry about that I actually was, was thinking of using the packaging technique so I thought I'd you know, get all the ephemera out. But I actually don't don't use any of the packaging. But it was fun to look through everything. It, I got some paper and the two die cut pack packs. Um, and it was plenty. It was plenty to do a page. And I'll be honest, I I struggled with this one. But um, I think it turns out okay in the end. But I did grab some Shimmers products. Um, for my background. And I did... I did a little fussy cutting, so that was fun. Um, but of course, I start with matte in my picture, have that nice red little frame all the way around it, and then I had a, a scrap piece. of all those tags so I thought that would be cute I um, I need to stop using the cheap cardstock so there is the Oki Bear Blue Dandelion and Just Peachy. And I just use the paintbrush. To splatter some color around. I decided not to smush it. Um, and you see I have some big drops. I think that's always fun to do. I rearranged my crafting space. So this was the first video I did in my new space. And it was... <laughs> It was not set up as well as it should have been so um, and I'll be honest my little guy was napping he naps right under me so I I didn't want to keep getting up and down <laughs> so yeah so I'm using my pour spray bottle to clean my brush um, I don't have any paper towel around but um, I make it work and of course he had a nice long nap so <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty happy with my splatters and I want to let that dry so I start working on a few more layers there's that little scrap piece to use
And I really like that mustardy yellow. That's a cool, a cool design on it. So I thought that would be nice to bring some of that deep yellow color. I really like that. This year I have a goal to journal more. I um I used to. I used to journal a lot when I look back at old uh albums. But then I just kind of stopped. You know, just did a little sentence here and there or the date but I decided I need to uh, I need to write some things down so I'm proud of uh, the little journal tag I did for this layout here I'm fussy cutting some of those tags I I had the idea to layer some on the top and bottom um, and there was plenty of tags in the ephemera packs that I that I that I use also, but I thought some of the the smaller ones would be nice for some layers. So I don't think I make you watch all this. Oh, there you go. So I didn't do too many, just enough <clears throat> for a few layers, and. Uh, so I just start putting it together. There's my trusty foam. Craft foam just gives it just enough. I have, yeah, I have no idea what I did to that picture, but that's okay. So there's all my little tags. I just want it like some clusters on top and bottom. Those are the ones I cut. Now I'm going to see what else is in the package. Yeah, I use that nice big one. There's a nice big journal card I decided to use. Um, and I just, you know, I just wrote that him and his dad went to South Dakota and Adam went for a conference. Um, and Samuel got to tag along and then the next day they went to all the sites Mount Rushmore and the Minutemen Silo, um, the Badlands National Park, I believe. I ran into a really old town, so they, they had a good time. That was a lot of fun playing with all those tags. But I think, I think that's all I use. Mm, no, there's one more I grab to put, to have another layer under the picture. It must be later I do that. So now I start to build I'm so glad I turned the other t the top tags around. I think that makes more sense.
a little some foam dots to pop up a few few of the tags again just a little dimension <clears throat> excuse me I was not 100% happy with the background. Um, all this time I kept thinking, how could I, how can I move it to a different page? But um, I knew once I put all those tags down that I was going to have to just leave it as is. Um. <clears throat> but I make, I make it work. My little tag, that little, that little airplane says, ready for take up, take off, up and away we go. Now Samuel's been flying since he was five months old, so he is a trooper with his headphones and Kindle. <laughs> So off camera, before I forget, I added some little, little corners to the top right and bottom left. I felt the page was just incomplete, so I thought maybe some, some pattern paper in the corners would help just kind of tie it all together. And I did that off camera and I'm I'm so glad I did that I think that's exactly what it needed. So you'll see the um, you will see the close up pictures with those little end pieces. I just, I'm not 100% happy with that, so I add some more splatters and hopes. That helps, but that's not what the problem was. I, I wanted to use more paper, so I'm glad I, I'm glad I left it all out and, uh, and just added those. corner pieces right at the end so thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions and uh, we will see you next time okay thanks so much I hope you find some inspiration to print your pictures and get crafty. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.